guys and dolls. Apologies for my voice, I'm recovering from a cold. So it's time for my February favourites and that just means we're one month closer to Christmas. I have no shame. Before I jump into my beauty and non-beauty favourites of last month, I want to do a little giveaway and this is happening over on Twitter and Instagram and it's of a little something that I featured in last month's favourites. Wink, wink, best mascara ever. So if you'd like to win a roller lash by Benefit, just hop on over to my Twitter and Instagram. I post so often in those in between uploads so yeah come on over there and I'm obsessed with snapchat oh my goodness a couple of my friends and me just keep sending each other really ugly faces and if you want to follow me on snapchat I'll leave it down below I don't know why anyone would want to see that but you're welcome to join my first favorite of the month and I have got to throw this in here is this beautimous pastel green skirt by Ted Baker and this is the most ridiculously expensive item of clothing I ever bought. I know that Ted Baker sponsor a lot of YouTubers, but they don't sponsor me. They don't send me anything. I saved up for this baby myself. I wore it to the Digital Media Awards where I actually won Blogger of the Year. Like me, <laughs> Blogger of the Year. <laughs> it even has my name on it. It's so cute. And that's thanks to you guys. Thousands of you voted for me apparently. So I'm so thankful to you, seriously. Yes, I actually won best dressed on the night thanks to this little ditty. And it's very Carrie Bradshaw, you know, from Sex in the City. It is so beautiful, the material and the color. So I have three makeup favorites to share with you. One is an eyeshadow palette that's new that I actually left in my sister's house. So annoying, it's the Dude Chewed palette, I think it's called by The Balm, and I love the rose gold colors out of there. So instead to show you guys, which I have been wearing this as well, and it's one of my all time favorite palettes, the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. I did a full thorough review and tutorial of this, I'll link that down below ages back. But yeah, this just has stunning rose gold shades and I'm really into kind of having copper eyelids, coppery rosy gold eyelids. I think it's gorgeous and can't get enough of it. When it comes to eyeshadows, I like to invest in ones that are actually going to go on there and stay on there and be very pigmented. On that note, I have not been able to go a day without my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And what this is like is a really thick concealer and you pop it onto your eyelid, just get a little onto your finger and pop it on there. It takes five seconds on each eyelid and it makes a huge difference to how your eyeshadows will look. It prevents them from creasing and it gives a like blank canvas so that the color of the shadow will really show through and it blocks out all the veins and the blueies and the nasties. Then to mix my makeup a little bit coming into spring, I've been using my Powder Trip palette a lot, which is by Soap and Glory Open. <laughs> and this just has like a blush, kind of highlighty thing. I tend to mix these two together and pop it onto my cheeks. And it has a really nice bronzer that suits pale girls like me. It has a dark side and a lighter side. Love that, it really enhances the base makeup, the foundation. And in terms of lippies, I've been liking this NYX Butter Gloss. I think this is the Apple Strudel one. Yeah, I used this ages back in a school tutorial and I, I just love it. This is my effort of getting away from the deep reds and berries of the winter. Two skincare items that I've been really enjoying using, the Clinique All About Eyes Eye Cream, and this says it reduces circles and puffs. I just really like using it. My eyelids and eye area can tend to get very dry and crusty. <laughs> so popping this on in the morning feels really nice. It's a sample size that I got free with something else that I didn't really like. So um, I'm definitely gonna repurchase this in the large size. And then this almost bankrupt me. A lot of people ask me to say my thoughts on it. You know I love my balms and my oils for cleansing before I go in with my Clearogen at nighttime for you know my acne and things. And this one contains Shiso and lots of kind of essential oils. It turns into a cleansing milk when it gets in contact with water and it is so nice to use. It has a really beautiful scent and it doesn't leave a film on your face. And I know that's what puts a lot of people off using balms and oils, that kind of little film it leaves on your skin, which I personally like, but this doesn't do that. It leaves your skin feeling very fresh. I tend to go for this in the morning times. One thing is that I don't encourage you to get it in your eyes because it stings like a motherfucker. Will I edit that out? Why are you talking to yourself? Sure, only they're going to know that, Melanie. For my body, I have been obsessed with anything with a rose scent. So please leave a comment with your favorite rose scented products. I've been kind of reaching for my stuff from Lush 
an awful lot and it's such a granny smell but I've really come around to love it recently then before I do all my other like non beauty favorites I have to give in a fail this is something that everyone on the internet is raving about and I was really excited about it it was very expensive so I kind of was a bit mmm about buying it and it's the Orba Orbe 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 <laughs> dry texturizing spray I must not know how to use this people I have done everything I possibly can with it and it just does nothing for me except make my hair feel dirtier than it previously was and kind of stuck together I don't like I'm not even that fond of the scent um but everyone is saying that this is the best thing ever so expensive and I regret buying this um <laughs> I want to like you I do I'm sorry <laughs> you're just crap Instead, I've been using a lot of my Lush C spray. It's nearly empty though. This gives my hair body and volume and you know, it'll get away any flyaways if I just get some on my hand and like slick it down like that. My favorite day of the month was Creator's Day, a day that I got to go into Google and sit on a panel with two guys who have like six million subscribers between them and we spoke to 300 other Irish YouTubers. It was incredible, phenomenal day and the energy in the room was so crazy. You might have noticed since then I've been doing kind of a lot of collabs. I've also recorded a few that I haven't uploaded because we just all got into the spirit of collaboration. If you watch a lot of YouTube you'll notice the UK community and the US community, they're all very close-knit and they are all friends in real life and a lot of us are becoming friends in real life and I love that. I love meeting other YouTubers and forming a real friendship off camera, it's amazing. And another favorite is something I think will help a lot of you watching, and it is the spunout.ie's new safety hub, where it gives all sorts of advice about how to be safe on the internet. And I know a lot of you will have dealt with things as I have. On the day I did a talk and there was like a politician sitting right in front of me. Ex-boyfriend setting up fake accounts to find out information about me, people hacking my email, online harassment, stalkers, trolls, all that kind of thing, and the things that you can do to safeguard yourself against that crap. No one has to deal with that crap. This hope covers things like social media platforms and um, dating websites. It's so important to be careful. I feel like your mammy, but I kind of am in this sense. What you doing to be safe? Are you looking after your good self? For music, I have had some of the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack on repeat all month. The songs that I like the most are Sia, Salted Wound, incredible voice that woman has, Sia. Then there was another one by Beyonce and it was like a remix of her song Haunted. So good. It's really good for like working out and stuff. Like if you're out walking or I have a mini trampoline like sitting right there in front of me and I'll bounce on that and listen to Beyonce. Then finally, as I said in my body confidence video, I'm getting into yoga proper this time. One channel I have been going to and have as my go-to yoga channel is called Namaste TV and their quality is out of this world. As I did last month with Retro Liberty, I am going to let my favorite YouTube channel take over my channel for a bit and I'm gonna allow Namaste TV to introduce themselves to you. Hello guys and dolls. That wasn't as cute as when Melanie does it. Maybe it's the accent. Accents are so cute. Anyway, I'm Amanda and I'm one of the teachers at Namaste TV. If you're like me and you love Melanie's videos on beauty, health, and body confidence, then yoga is essential for you. Doing yoga is gonna make you feel beautiful from the inside out and give you the confidence to tackle the world beyond the mat day after day. Our channel is all about how to incorporate more yoga into your everyday life. We are super passionate about helping people kickstart their yoga practice. So many people that I talk to are like, yoga, you're a yoga teacher, I should do yoga. But, no buts, do it. You will thank yourself later. So if that's you, or if you already do yoga but are looking for something fresh and inspiring, then head on over to Namaste TV, introduce yourself, let us know what you're looking for, and we would love to help you out. Thank you so much to Melanie for the mention. You're awesome. Your channel is awesome, and your subscribers, you guys, are awesome. Looking forward to seeing you on the mat soon. Namaste.